Hey everybody, Rick Nieder from the Big A Aquatic Race Course, Ozone Park, New York. It's Saturday afternoon, <clears throat> January the 5th, and this is my Equibase Winter Circle YouTube race of the day. <clears throat> I'm going to focus on the Race 8 feature this afternoon, folks. 4.21 p.m. Eastern Post Time for the Count Fleet Stakes. It's a mile 70 yard test on the inner dirt track. Three year olds racing for $75,000. Contenders number 7, Giant Moon. Number 2, Spanky Fishbine. Number six, Roman Emperor, and number one, Red Reef. <clears throat> For you folks who enjoy a little thoroughbred history to accompany your handicapping efforts, the Count Fleet is named for the 1943 Triple Crown winner. Owned by Mrs. John D. Hines, Count Fleet carried the Hines colors and jockey Johnny Logden to victories in three, eight, and 25 lengths in the three classics. He was the champion two-year-old of 1942, the champion three-year-old and horse of the year in 1943. Here in the 33rd renewal of the stakes event for three-year-olds, number seven, Giant Moon, shares the speed honors in this field with number two, Fanky. Spanky Fishbine is this pace profile leader racing at or about today's distance of a mile 70 yards on the dirt, is undefeated in a three-race career to date, <coughs> winning each in power run fashion. Jockey Ramon Dominguez was in his irons for that last win, which produced a positive 165% return on investment in the process. Dominguez is back today for a second ride, gunning for back-to-back -back circle trips. Spanky Fishbine has hit the board in five straight, including a power run win in his second race back. Race 8 summary, number 7 Giant Moon tops my contenders list, which also includes number 2 Spanky Fishbine, number 6 Roman Emperor, and number 1 Red Reef. At 7261 in the 8th from Aqueduct, the $75,000 Count Fleet Stakes. Have a couple of bonus long shots for you as usual, folks. Get my notes out here. Let's go to uh, Fourth Hawthorne Race Course uh, near Chicago. Race number two, number seven, Keystone Kid, a four to one shot. Qualifies as a Trackmaster Plus Power Pony. Takes a three level computerized class drop and is the overall speed leader in this climbing field, racing at or about today's distance of 8.3 furlongs on the dirt. The race at the Charlestown Races in Slots Casino in Charlestown, Charlestown West Virginia today as well. <clears throat> race number five, entry number four, Blue Ash. A 12 to 1 bomb takes a 10 level Trackmaster class drop as decent speed for this 9 furlong route test on the dirt. So from Aqueduct on 8, <coughs> Saturday afternoon, Rick Needham for the Equibase Winter Circle YouTube and our friends at dayatthetrack.com reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.